guys. Good morning. I've just noticed it's 7.30 a.m. and look how dark it is. Are you ready? Look at this. It was hard to get up just because it was so dark outside. Yes, currently 7.30, ready to go. But before we go out today, we are going to go down and have some breakfast. And then we are off on a tour around the Notre Dame. We are working actually with a company called Fat Bike Tours. And they're going to be showing us around Paris for the whole time we're here, which is awesome. So many things planned with them. But on today's agenda is Notre Dame. And then tonight we're going back out with them on a night tour of Paris via bike which will be fun. Are you ready to get your cycle on? Yeah, I like <laughs> cycling, so it should be a good way to see Paris, because like, I don't think this city's overly huge to see all the sights, so like, we'll be able to cycle. And I'm pretty like... sure it's pretty flat. Yeah. So I reckon it's a pretty good way to see Paris. Yes, we're gonna go down and have some breakfast. Ooh, chocolate croissants in France. Have to have this. Yum. Cheers. How amazing is that croissant? Mm. Oh, oh my. As well. Gosh, that croissant is like the best croissant I've ever tried in my life. It's delicious. <laughs> uh, they had optional food. We got pancakes. They look so lovely. Oh delicious. my gosh. Oh no, so this good. is not good, Bob's. This is not good. Yum. I see that the sun is finally coming up and it's like quarter past eight and we have to check out, but wow, so beautiful this area. Just before we left the hotel, I just want to show you guys how nice it is in the balcony in the daytime because we arrived so late at night, but it is so beautiful. Look at this. like a bit of French music to uh, take us on our train ride. <laughs> Oh, sorry guys, we uh, we mixed it up. We're doing a cycling tour later on, but this is a walking tour. Uh, and we're just here at Palace de Justice, and uh, probably saying that totally wrong, but this beautiful building was apparently a prison. And there was like, you know, torches taking place here, and this is where they kept everyone before they went to the guillotine. And of course, one of the biggest people that stayed here at the prison was Marie Antoinette before she had her cut off <laughs> but we are going to go inside now which is really cool and it's kind of funny because me and Cleo we love the Assassin's Creed games and the last one was set in Paris so we walked up and I was like I remember going in here which is strange like different types of media forms like can get you excited for travel and I didn't think video games would be fun. We're about to go into a chapel for that was built for Louis the Ninth, and it was built in the 13th century. And most of the stained glass windows is still from that time. So very cool. I love old buildings. only took six years to build. It's and this incredible. was pretty much St. Louis jewelry, jewelry box. Yeah. So literally he built this just to store his possessions, his like religious possessions. We're free really quiet up here but we've just come to the top floor and it is amazing. There are stained glass windows that surround the whole room and they tell the story of the Bible. So starting up here, this here is Genesis and it goes right around all the way to the apocalypse. How incredible is that? This is the original stained glass. They said like 70% of it is original. Hey guys, 
guys, we are now walking to the Notre Dame and it is incredible. We're about to walk up 440 stairs to get to the top. I'm guessing the top if it's so many stairs, but I've always wanted to see this building and it's so cool to see in real life. Where's Frosty Quasimodo, Quasimodo <laughs> up there? <laughs> I have to go up and see if he's up there. This building is 850 years old and it took 200 years to build and it looks like a lot of people also want to visit today. They were saying it's the most visited building in France. Yeah. 14 million a year. Ready to go? In the Eiffel Tower. I had no idea. I thought yeah. that would be the most visited. Yeah. Ready to go in? I'm um, not ready to climb. Climb. 470 stairs did you say? I think it was 440 but still that's a lot of stairs. Just hearing all the stories about some of the statues is just so fascinating. Like for example this one here, just one of the many statues, St. Denis, was decapitated. So they've shown that on here. Look at all of this arts of work right here. No wonder it took 200 years. So now we're about to go inside and climb to the top of Notre Dame. The time excited for. So this is the book that really popularized Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. Of course, probably everyone knows it from the movie, but yeah. It'll be cool to buy it from here. I'm gonna say you got your copy from Notre Dame. Uh-huh. Next level. <laughs> wow, that looks so beautiful. Can't wait to get to the top. Nearly there. Almost halfway. Not gonna lie, it is tiring. <laughs> wow, that view is amazing. Uh, apparently this mesh is like three weeks old and was just put up because of selfie sticks. It's our first time seeing the Eiffel Tower. We can see a little bit in the distance. Please take mine. <laughs> Just take These are the big bells. I do not want to be in here when they go off. Look at this. Can't believe we're here at the top of Notre Dame and the bells are just here. Luckily, it's not on the hour, otherwise, I'd be in and out. <laughs> But we're still not at the top yet. I think we're about halfway. And then we're going to walk up. Or ha halfway or two thirds up. And then we're going to be right at the top. And apparently that's where all the panoramic views are. Ready for the final ascent, Jess? Yes, I'm ready. Last set of stairs. Just take your time. And please take mine. Wow, the views are beautiful. Yes. So nice. Just wait a minute, hold the phone, I think it just freezes. We made it. That was such an incredible experience. I'm so glad we got to do that. Highly recommend it if you're here in Paris. Okay, after all those steps, we are super hungry, so we just happened to stumble upon a subway right across from Notre Dame. And you guys know that that is our go-to cheat meal when we are traveling and don't have a grocery store nearby. So we're gonna go grab a subway. Probably the subway with the most beautiful view. We are, yes. <laughs> Eat our subway and have the view of Notre Dame. <laughs> and then after that, we actually moving hotels. And then we have another tour tonight, which is I think a cycling tour this time, um, a cycling tour at night.
even the roundabouts in Paris are works of art. So yeah, we have just checked out of our hotel. Uh, we were staying there for just the one night, uh, but we are now changing to another hotel so we can see a different part of Paris. So yeah, we're just uh, heading there now. Very much need coffee. I'm pooped. So we just checked into our hotel mm -hmm. and we're just waiting for, oh, you had a bit of froth on you. <laughs> so we're just waiting for our room to get ready and we're just uh, having our favorite stuff and then we'll guys show you the room. What did you just say? And then we'll show you guys the room. It's cute. A little pineapple. Hee <laughs> hee. That's cute. Okay. Cute. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, this is our room. Nice bed there. I love the views here in Paris. They're really so pretty. Hang on, let's see our view here. How cute are the buildings? Oh, we have like a little terrace thing. I wonder if I can open it. I'll have to work that out and then I can show you guys outside. I have to get Stephen to help me. But how cute is that view? So cute. Oh, we have like a fireplace. Stephen's just downstairs. He was just doing things on his laptop, financey stuff. And I was like, oh, I want to come up and see the room. It's ready. So um, I've come up here. We're staying in a place called the Grand Pagal. I think that's how you pronounce it. Or Pagali. Grand Pagal or Grand Pagali here in France for the night. Here, I'll show you the name. <laughs> There we go. Grand Pagal or Bra Grand Pagali? Write down in the comments below. How do I say it? Because I am shocking at French. Really shocking. But oh my goodness, are we ready for a rest? We like. Because yesterday we were on the bus for so long, came back so late and had to wake up early today for our tour. So we're glad we could check in and we're going to rest now, ready for our nighttime tour. Which I think starts at 7 and it's currently around 3. So we do have a couple of hours of rest time, which is perfect. But yes, I guess I'll just relax up here and wait for Stephen and try and work out how to open up my door. I want to see the view out there. But... Oh, oh, I worked it out. Okay, I wonder if I can stand on here. That's scary. How pretty is this? Oh my goodness. Everyone below. <laughs> so cool. Beautiful. We're now off on our second tour with Fat Bike Ties. This time we're going to be cycling uh, and we're going to cycle around the Eiffel Tower, which is really exciting. Yes, we haven't during seen the night it yet. Time. Yeah, so we should get some beautiful nighttime shots and scenery for you guys because we've heard that the Eiffel Tower looks the best at night. Still figuring it out. So we need to remember that's the end of the line and we're going to George V is the end of the line. All right, okay. let's go. We are just meeting up with our tour group and we saw the Eiffel Tower through the train window. It was very quick so we didn't catch it in time to film, but I'm guessing we're going to see the Eiffel Tower tonight and I hope it is all shiny. Yeah. Still haven't seen it properly yet. Alrighty guys, we're at the bike shop now and we're just putting on some vests because we want to be extra fashionable tonight on our tour. As you can see, there you go and do your spin. There we go, ready for our bike tour. <laughs> Really doesn't. There's nothing mandatory about it. Go, Steve, go! Excuse me, such a love. Excited? Yes, I am. Do you, know, am. Do you know what we're seeing? We're seeing the loom. Ooh. Oh, we're like seeing Eiffel And we're seeing other stuff. <laughs> yeah. Or by night. He was kind of saying it with a French accent, so I, I don't know what the place was. <laughs> Oh, we keep getting quick glimpses of the tower. That's a good one. Can't be bad, even grandma just shook some. Electric slide on the side till I ran. Oh, the Eiffel Tower's right there, Steve. Uh, that's all you get of the Eiffel Tower. We'll, <laughs> we'll give you a bit more later on. <laughs> oh, look at it, Steve. Come on, one more for them. <laughs> now, what's this thing we're cycling in front of? <laughs> you know what's bad and good, friend? Alright, so we're just traveling down this boulevard. Uh, our tour guide said it in a very French accent, so I didn't catch any of it. But we're in the 7th seventh, seventh district, which is quite a posh area, and we're actually cycling all the way to Notre Dame. Remember that place? We've made it back to Notre Dame. We've been in part one. It's a bit stressful, I know. It's pretty lit up, hey?
we're now at the Love Lock Bridge, but as you see, they've had to cut most of the locks off because the bridge was starting to give way. But they have left some around the corner. Can you see them here? Yeah, so you can't really put them up anymore. So I think well, it's illegal to put it up now. Is it? Yeah, it's illegal because oh. um, the bridge was giving away. It's going to collapse. Yeah. So another little thing, even though we're walking here on the True Love Love Lock Bridge, <laughs> that was a tongue twister, in front of us is the Louvre. To uh, the Louvre! To the Louvre! Pyramid entrance is on the other side, we'll show you. Cycling into the Louvre, we're off to see the Mona Lisa. To the Louvre! Oh, we are actually cycling into the Louvre oh right my now. Goodness. Amazing. Now we get to go on a river cruise. And the Eiffel Tower's right behind us, which is so nice. But I think this is how they end the night. We've got some wine going on a ferry along the river. Got some French wine. And we're going to look at the Eiffel Tower from the river. It should be good. Santé. How beautiful is this nice? Eiffel Tower! I can't believe we're on a river cruise past the Eiffel Tower right now. It's one of those moments that you're just like, wow. Just like, wow. 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 <laughs> Yeah, we actually ride in front of the, uh, the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, it's like a, the best spot to end the tour, I reckon. It's about 11 o'clock at night, and we're waiting for it to sparkle, and it is beautiful. I love the Eiffel Tower. So I think it's like my favorite tower ever. <laughs> That was so much fun. A little bit tight though. <laughs> it's like quarter to 12 and we've probably got another half an hour to get back to our hotel room. I feel like today's vlog is going to be very, very long. I apologize for the length of it. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to see a lot of Paris and we got to see a lot of Paris. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed awesome, it. But I think yeah. we'll end the vlog here, do you reckon? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Alrighty, so good night guys and we'll see you tomorrow. We're going to Vers Versailles. Yeah, uh, yep, the Palace of Versailles. Palace of Versailles. <laughs> Too tight to talk. <laughs> Yeah, that should be pretty cool, but we'll see you guys later. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.